Hey guys, it's Dan, your host of your day interviews, and today I'm back for another video for Fear of the Walking Dead. And in today's video, we're going to be doing another video for Fear of the Walking Dead. We did the best to worst seasons of The Walking Dead yesterday, and now we are going to do the other side of the coin, if you will. We're going to do the worst to best seasons of Fear the Walking Dead. This is going to be doing another video today. This one's going to be doing another video for Fear of the Walking Dead and another worst to best ranking list for today. Uh, you guys really seem to enjoy the Walking Dead uh, worst to best seasons uh, yesterday. Uh, so that's in the channel right now. Make sure to go ahead and check that out. Uh, I know a lot of you guys really enjoyed that video. So very happy to hear. And uh, now it's time to do the opposite end of the conversation. Uh, Fear the Walking Dead, worst to best seasons. So, uh, no, we are not doing this for World Beyond, guys. We're not doing it. We're not doing it. So, uh, anyway, let's get into the, uh, if you guys really want to see it, I'll do a pretty freaking quick video on it. But uh, anyway, let's uh, talk about uh, Fear the Walking Dead. So, there's only seven seasons, right? So, obviously, it'll be a little bit easier to do this than The Walking Dead. But I'm going to be honest with you guys right now. Even the best season in this list is super problematic. That is literally how bad this show can get, honestly, at times. So let's just get right into it. Number seven, my least favorite season of Fear the Walking Dead, kind of fitting with number seven, is season seven. Oh my God, literally nothing is good about this season. Literally, not even anything I can say is remotely good. The only things that I can say actually are like somewhat decent are like Dwight and Sherry. I actually like their dynamic. And the beacon is like a pretty good premiere. Everything else is literally ugly to look at, terrible writing, laughable writing, and you know, bad music, bad plots. I mean, terrible decision making, everything. Honestly, cringy. I mean, you know, you name it, uh, you know, it's it's there. Uh, honestly, season seven has the worst storylines. The tower was not gripping. The radiation was terribly unrealistic. And the entire idea of Morgan trying to get his people out of Strand's, you know, compound just made for a terrible storyline. And when the time came for an actual war to happen, Morgan just floats away. Alicia goes to deal with it. And we get a random ass redemption arc with a terrible villain, which is Wes terrible terrible season number six is going to go to fear the walking dead season two now oh boy anytime you put an old fear the walking dead season at a low spot on the list people are immediately offended they're like what the dave erickson era was the best thing ever well i'm one of the few people that says that yes it was better but not much better now why do i put season two this low on the list you ask well for a couple of different reasons uh, the villains sucked, okay? Celia, Connor, the freaking guys with the supermarket in the second half of the season that almost cut off Nick's hand. They're so dumb that I can't even remember their freaking name. And, I mean, seriously, the entire season they're on the boat and, you know, you get useless episodes like the one with the family where they just die and we just never see it, like anything about them ever again. We get Daniel that loses his mind, burns down a location, Chris, who was a terrible character, and the hotel arc with all these brand new characters that nobody cares about. I mean, the only thing I can say that's somewhat good about this season is Travis. I think Travis is actually a well-written character. And of course, this is the show where anytime they have a well-written character, they freaking kill them off. Uh, and that's exactly what they did in a later season. But Travis was good, but everything else about this season I found to be terrible. I mean, the guy that was like, that, you know, was like bit and stuff, like, oh my god. Honestly, such a mediocre season. I'll never understand the praise for this season. I'll never understand it. Um, I just don't understand the fascination with it. Number five is going to go to season four. Oh my god, this season literally screwed everything up. I mean, they had a vision. They had a, a premise going for this show. And I swear to God, by the end of it, it was just like, oh, okay, so like we're gonna, you know, 
We're going to do this because we feel like the viewers are going down too much. So we're going to forget about Proctor Jaw. We're going to forget about all this stuff the way I go. And we're going to sink this down to the very bottom. Introduce Morgan into this show. Introduce John. Introduce Althea. Which, if anything, is my one compliment for Season 4 is those characters. Morgan, John, and Althea. I like every single one of those characters. Despite the, the you know... All the fans that say that they're bad characters, I like them. I like every single one of those characters. But here's the thing. They're not enough to save this season. You've got the Vultures, which are okay, but they're mediocre. And the Madison death is ruined now, you know? The Nick death is not bad. That one's not horrible. And it's sad and it's, you know, whatever. I can deal with that one. But the fact that the whole half season builds up to a character death that doesn't even freaking happen anymore... And not only that, the back half of the season is god-awful. They try to pull this, like, Z Nation comedy-style, like, Martha weirdness. It's odd. The guy that wants to brew beer. The truckers that like beer. Like, it just... It's, it's freaking cringy, man. Honestly. Um, you get, like, this alligator episode with Drunken Strand and a motivated John Dory trying to find his woman and stuff. I mean, it's just... Look, like I said, the season does have its moments somehow, but it's a really bad season in comparison to the seasons, you know, before. In particular, season three. Um, do not understand their ultimate goal with that season. I really, really don't. Uh, number four is going to go to season five. Now, season five is somewhat better than four, and I'll tell you why. I actually like the first quarter of that season. I like episodes one through four. I like the return of Daniel. I like the intrigue of the CRM. I think Alicia is actually a really good character. And, you know, I think that a lot of what they were doing around that time, you know, the crossover with Dwight and, you know, a lot of what they were doing there, uh, I think was very interesting, to be honest. Very, very interesting stuff. Uh, but here's the, and the radiated walkers, you know, it was a really cool concept. But as well, too, this is when the season starts to kind of tank. The camera episodes, the kids... I mean, the freaking, like, uh, what the hell was I going to say? Yeah, the, the, you know, Virginia character, the West character. I mean, honestly, there's so much wrong with this season that it's a miracle they got a few decent episodes to start. And I did as well enjoy episode 10. I liked episode 10. So there's episodes in here that I can actually say I like somehow. But, you know, the season is still bad. It is better than four because I can at least say there's more episodes in here I like. But... That's not saying much. That's really not saying much. Number three is going to go to season one. Now, season one, even to this day, I still really respect what they were trying to do in this season. I really do. Uh, I think this season has its fair share of problems, and I think that more so comes in with episode four. Uh, episode four was a really boring episode. I'm not even going to lie. But the rest, like the good man and the battle with the military and, you know, the, you know, the, the, the actual attack at the end of the season with the zombie herd and the wonder of what's going on and the creepy church and Gloria and, you know, stuff like that. And kind of them try to figure out what the frig is going on in the first few episodes and the panic and stuff. It's something that I think we should have gotten in the franchise a long time ago, to be honest. So I can really appreciate what they were trying to do in season one. And even though I don't know if the cast was 100% gripping in that season, I think that is still the one problem with it. Um, they did something right. They absolutely did do something right. And I can give credit where credit is due on that. Uh, number two is going to go to the only reboot season on the list. Fear the Walking Dead season six. This season was a shocker to me. And as I know it was to a lot of you guys. Because Fear the Walking Dead was going down the toilet. Let's just be honest about that. It absolutely was going down the toilet. And for some reason, they managed to revamp the show into this western, dark gritty interesting show for a while and i thought it really worked well and for the first time i can actually say the bottle episodes worked now another thing they got right with this season the cult the concept there really really interesting stuff the nuke all that stuff however however let's also acknowledge the flaws with this season number two on the list and it's still heavily flawed that shows you the quality of the tv show we're talking about here uh also John Dory's death, the way they handled that, the final battle, uh, battle with Virginia, I found to be very badly choreographed. That's just my opinion. 
Uh, In Dreams was a very frustrating episode to watch. Daniel's Memory Problems was very frustrating to watch. And, you know, the nuke and the way they handled it. And, you know, Morgan and Grace getting down under a truck. Okay, sure. Because they would be a-okay, right? A freaking nuke is going off and they can hide under a truck. And they're totally fine. You know, they're uh, they're totally fine. So, yeah, that's uh, that makes a lot of sense, guys. You guys, you guys just know everything, don't you? Uh, and then my absolute favorite season of Fear of the Walking Dead is going to go to Fear of the Walking Dead Season 3. Now... This is an easy win. This is absolutely an easy win. But I'm going to tell you something right now, guys. For anybody that's about to, you know, to say like, okay, Dan, so you must think this season is perfect then, right? This is number one. You must think this season is perfect. Far from it. I'll tell you one thing right now. Far freaking from it. Uh, I think it's got the best concepts. I think it's got the best villains, you know, with Walker and Proctor John and, you know, uh, stuff like that. Even Dante was, you know, somewhat good. But, and Troy in particular, the, the main villain of the season I would consider him to be. Um, and I like the ranch storyline. I like, you know, the Daniel storyline. I like, I like a lot of what they did, but I'll tell you another thing I didn't like about the season. They killed the best characters of the freaking show that season. Like seriously, Travis was my favorite character. He died. I was really starting to like Jake. He died. I was really starting to enjoy Troy. He died. I mean, for God's sakes, man, Fear of the Walking Dead struggled in the first two seasons to get good characters. They finally started to make some interesting characters travis was really growing on me troy was really awesome and they're like now the deuces yeah we'll get rid of them real quick like what the frig for like seriously the cast is so pathetic in season four and it's because of them killing the characters they did honestly absolutely ridiculous but it's the best season it, it is the best season but that's that's kind of funny when you think about it to be honest so Anyway, let me know in the comment section below now. That is my list, my least favorite characters of Fear the Walking Dead and my least favorite seasons of Fear the Walking Dead. Definitely let me know in the comment section below what is your list, what is your least favorite uh, seasons of Fear the Walking Dead, your favorite seasons of Fear the Walking Dead. Definitely let me know and write your comments in the comment section below. So, of course, guys, if you're new here, make sure to click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos for Fear the Walking Dead. Make sure to follow me on Dan's The Walking Dead Reviews on Instagram, guys. And, of course, I'll see you guys very really soon for another video for Fear the Walking Dead. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and peace out. My God! No!